Hey guys, this is Arm Reduction, aka and the Fully Seven Free. Okay, uh, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know, I know. I haven't been uploading videos for the past few days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I can say now that I've just finished my exams. Woo! Which means I am free. Which also means that uh, there are only a couple of days, then I have summer vacation, which is just as brilliant as it sounds. So anyways, I will get more time to upload videos in that time, hopefully, if I'm not totally busy. Getting... I have to move, actually, and I have to go to Paris, and I also have to... We have... We just have to... We are going to buy two small kitties! That's so adorable! Anyway, I'm talking in personal stuff, you don't want to hear personal stuff. Let's just... Go continue Awesome's journey. We're in part five. I, did I say that? No, I did not. Um, all right. I can't remember what happened last time. Blah blah. She laughed at my enthusiasm. Ooh, enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And excused herself, letting the males know that they were welcome to stay overnight. I grinned and pumped and fist into the air. Yeah. I feel like this is my first step into real knighthood. A knighthood? Well, probably more like a mercenary. You get hired to protect people and make sure they arrive at the destination safely. That's a good thing that we can that's a good thing that we can get to Oliver and earn a little money. However, I could ask my mom something later. Uh however, if I could ask my mom something later, then I'd really be a knight. I could have left for Oliver at any time, but I needed something important first. I was probably grinning like an idiot, but I didn't care. When I heard the door open, I knew that it was my dad and immediately jumped up. Mum was lightly on her lightly on her late patrols again and probably wouldn't be back for a while. You two are probably hungry. Is there anything you'd like to eat? Well, I'm open to everything. I've never tried heaven kind food before. We'll try to make a make you something you like you like. Il Il Mary, care? He was pondering at first, but then reluctantly looked up. Yes, those um, those that have apple slices on it. Oh, apple tarts! Of course, pastries are very, are pretty much my dad's specialty. Specialty. He'll make you some for you. The smallest of smiles appeared on Kerr's face, but quickly vanished. Oh, you're so tender. I want to punch you. At least, uh, that. At least there was something heaven kind related that he enjoyed. Our meal was pleasant, and I was surprised that my dad even got care to say more than a few lines. My dad always had a way of winning people over through his cooking. It might be found our eating traditions extremely complicated with all of it, all of the dishes and something used, but kept getting drawn to the windows again. <laughs> If I ever let him loose on that stained glass church, church, I snorted behind my cup thinking about it. When Mum returned, I pulled away from the group for a private chat. Is it all arranged? So I'll be able to guard the carriage tomorrow? Yes. Then, um, since I'm going to Oliver anyway, can you write a letter commending me for knighthood? In Oliver, there would be a special guild for knights. People trained by rear knights to, could be endorsed to Slurlanda. If I was going to Oliver now, this would be the perfect opportunity to join them. With Mom's name, they would not refuse me. If anything, that you that gushing me in uh, with open arms. Mom sighed and rubbed her forehead, already tired of the persistent conversation. Honestly, Ara, I don't think you're ready for and mature enough to. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Not only that, I can help Kerr, I mean, the dragon kind better. Yes. She chuckled weakly, uh, but I could see that she was still firm in her decision. Look, I'll think about it. Now, for now, you can assist Kerr and I'll marry to sign without the rank. I gave her a petulant look, but gave in. Alright, I'm glad you're at least considering it. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Did not sound very thankful. <laughs> Uh, I returned to the others who were finishing up their meal. Oh, jeez. Not that. As I gathered the dishes, Dad glanced towards the stairs. 
Will you be spending the night here? You've already done so much for us. We are also prefer more spacious places, so we'll be fine outside. You sure? You see us living in these? Do you see us living in these things? Not really. We still have some time before it gets dark. I can show you around the town if you'd like. Ilmari brightened immediately while her aside. I'll go. Pass. Weren't you ordered to learn more about heavenkind? You can just summarize for me. I'm more about finding the altars. Which are the co locations you visit after you learn? Let sleeping dragons lie, Mary. We uh, we can have fun without crap crap apple sulking out long. Oh, that was great animation. I grabbed the Mary's hand and led him outside, starting to show off the something the time was specialized in. Ha <laughs> ha! We're gonna leave you, cur, you little shit. <laughs> As we walked down the road, we passed the farmhouse where four children were running around playing tag. When one of them spotted us, he waved, and the other one and the other three eagerly scram scampered towards us. Ara, Ara, come play! Another time, Chase. The youngest sibling crept forward and gazed up at El Mary curiously. Your ears are funny. Is that a bad thing? Not at all. They're really cute, don't you think, Heather? She giggled. They look like butterfly. The children. Uh, prodded at old Mary and ran around until their mother called them back. Although I did not expect that, old Mary seemed to have enjoyed himself. How sweet! <laughs> They're siblings, so they played together a lot. He blinked blankly before gasping. Siblings? They are all related? Yeah, it's not uncommon to have large families here, though I'm an only child myself. What about you? I guess you were the younger. I guess you were the youngest of a dozen. He gave a sheepish chuckle. No, I'm um, an only child too. It's extremely rare for dra dragon kinds to have siblings. I don't think I've met one that had more than two. He tilted his head and glanced at me hesitantly, hesitantly, as if pondering something. Then for mating season, is it alarm bells winning my head and I and I made a giant crush with my arms. No, banned. I'm banning this subject. As if I could accurately answer those types of questions, anyways. If you don't ask, I, I won't ask how it works between dragons. Uh, I, I agree. He appeared so awkward that I couldn't help but laugh as soon as we, and soon we were chuckling over our quick division. All right, let's keep going. I can see you. Uh, I can show you around one of the farms. Okay. One of the barns were was open. It actually belonged to an old friend of my of my family. I casually strolled in, pointing to various equipment. Bill Mary gestured uh, to a device in the corner. What does that do? Oh, it's a churn. You use it to well, churn milk or cream into butter. Cream? Butter? Here, I'll demonstrate. Pretending, of course. I approached the cylindrical wooden tub and touched the stake. Basically, you punch this oven down and shake the li and it'll shake the liquid and eventually turn it into a solid. Milk, cream and butter and all types of food. As I explained, the house owner entered carrying two buckets filled with, uh, to the brim of something. Hi Brian! I saw you showing your friend around and I thought you'd, I'd, uh, you'd like to demonstrate the real thing. With a wry smile, she set the bucket down and stared at them expressionly. I wasn't planning on staying. I want to see it! Between El Mary's persistence and my inability to decline a request from my mom's friend, I gave in. Right, right, I'll show you, El Mary. Then after one, she can show you him how to milk cows. Ah, oh, sneaky person. Fine, I'll do it, I'll do it all. I wasn't sure of how, but I got roped into the show as well. Uh, while showing El Mary around. Yes, yeah, sorry, so give me two seconds, and I'm back. <laughs> his questions were endless, and he seemed to enjoy every minute of it. Whenever I offered, whenever, whenever I, blah, 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 I offered him to take over, he'd shake his head and say that he probably met up. I had the feeling he was just saying that. At least he left the apple or chap when I was finally able to get him there. It was late evening when we returned. 
uh, and I was rolling my aching shoulders. Poor girl. Uh, even when my calluses, even my calluses, calluses. I haven't done farm stuff in years. I'm surprised I remember it all. I had been more focused on my sword training and patrolling duties as of late. But did you have fun on Mary? He grinned brightly like a child who had uh, left this, this sweet shop with a pocket full of cookies. I did. I thought it was really interesting. I don't know if I'd call it interesting, but I guess I've been here so long that it's a root all routine to me. If I was a knight, I could do more things. Hmm? Nothing, merely thinking out loud. You sure have a lot of questions regarding Heavenkind. Sorry about that. I really love learning about new things. In return, if you have any questions about Dragonkind, I'd be happy to answer it. He stopped shyly, fidgeted with his hands, and I could tell he was anticipating an inquiry. I'm sorry, but this guy is absolutely adorable. I confess you want to touch his ear. Oh my god. <laughs> um... I'm sorry, but I actually, if I was standing in the in this girl's shoes, I would be pretty damn curious about those ears as well. <laughs> that no, his language. That's kind of he. That's boring. <laughs> I'm weird. Well, I do have one. It's been bugging me ever since I first encountered Kerr, Actually, ask away. Can I touch your ears? He arched an eyebrow and told us his head. <laughs> I hope he gets embarrassed though. I really love it when they get embarrassed. <laughs> Evil me. That's not a real question. It totally is and it's and it's dragon kind related. Can I? I know Carol would refuse. If you want to. I took a step forward and extended my hand, letting him see my movement since this was a rather close position. I reached up and gripped the ends of his ears lightly. The thin skin felt delicate between my fingers while the other parts were like something. They twitched slightly depending on where I grazed. Oh, they're adorable! They're, they are like floating butterflies! Oh god! <laughs> when Ilmeri reached and touched my ears, his it was then Elmeri reached out and touched my ears, his thumb massaging the inner region. What are you doing? My ears aren't that unique. They're out to me. I haven't noticed I have I've have noticed seven kinds of two different types of ears. Ah uh, yes, I'm a sun child. Mine are smooth on the outside. Moon childs have pointy ears. Children have not pointy ears. Sun children profess possesses the element of light, while moon children get their powers from darkness. His fingers pushed back my hair to observe the rim. Fascinating. And some children and moon children get along. Everyone seems to mingle together. Yes, the only difference is that we, uh, what we worship. Uh, what about dragon kind? Is it all the same for you? Not exactly. Dragon or Arius are respectfully aware of each other but avoid association, although there are some exceptions. Ignais live in the volcanic region and isolate themselves while Chiapre rarely leave the skylands. We pretty much keep our own kind for the most part. Uh, I see, oh my god, that's fucking adorable. There was a moment of silence before I spoke up. Um, we should probably go before people wonder why we're standing like this. Oh, I'm sorry. We hastily let go and his smiles reassuring that we were at ease. I should go to bed now. We have a busy day ahead of us. Night, Aurelie. Thank you so much for everything. It's fine. I had fun too, even if I got dragged halfway across Barry to do odd chores. Oh, that's so adorable. I don't, I don't know if it's a romanceable choice, but I think I'd go for Il Mary, though I actually kind of like cursed type more because Il Mary is just so fucking adorable. Anyways, I will have to end the episode here. I'll see you in the next one. Remember to vote for the next game because um, I think there will be a sea of parts of this game so very soon you won't have a chance to vote. So please go on my voting video and vote for the game you want to see me play if you haven't already. Goodbye.